Hi everyone, welcome to Bodhi Life Crochet. My name is Taylor and I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little flower pattern. It's only four rows and it's fairly easy. So let's get started. We're going to start out with a magic circle and then we're going to single crochet six into the circle. So this is how I make my magic circle. If you need another slower video, I will link it in the description box below. Then chain one to close the circle. So I'm going to single crochet six into the circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. To close the circle, I'm going to pull the tail to cinch it shut. I'm going to find the first single crochet, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through again to make a slip stitch, and there's our first row. Moving on to the second row, we're going to chain two, and then we're going to do what I call a two double crochet cluster into the very first stitch, the same stitch as your chain, so just below it. So yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, and then you're going to pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the first two, and then you're going to yarn over and insert your hook again. Yarn over, pull through, and then you're going to pull through these first two. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three to close that cluster. Chain two in between each cluster and we're gonna work this into each stitch around. So after you chain two, we just move on to the next available stitch, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, insert hook again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, pull through last three. Chain two, go to the next available stitch, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, insert hook again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, pull through last three. Chain two, I'm going to do this all the way around until we run out of stitches. Cluster. Chain two. Cluster. chain two. This will be our last cluster. And then you're going to end with a chain two and then slip stitch to the top of your beginning chain or the first stitch, I'm sorry, slip stitch to the first stitch that you made. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again to make that slip stitch. And next we will move on to row three. So here we're going to make chains and insert them into each chain space that we just created in our last row. So chain six, Oops. 
then you're going to single crochet into this next chain space right here. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, single crochet. Chain six again, and go on to the next chain space. One, two, three. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, single crochet. Then this will be our last chain six and we are going to single crochet into this last space. And that was row three. Now we'll move on to our very last row, row four. And here we will not be chaining. We're just going to start working into these chain spaces to create the last petals. So the pattern is, it starts with a single crochet. So go into that chain space and single crochet. Do a half double crochet into the same chain space. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three half double crochet again, double crochet, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through the first two, pull through second two for double, treble crochet, so yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through the first two, pull through the second two, pull through the last two. If you need more videos on how to do these stitches, I'll put them in the description box below. I have a whole series of crochet basic stitch videos. So now we're gonna work our way back down. So we're going to go double, and then two half double crochets. So pull through all three of your loops. That's one. And that's two half double crochets. And then you will end with a single crochet. And this is the pattern we'll work into each chain space around our work. So single, half, half, double, treble, double, half, half, single. This is my favorite part of this pattern. Okay, so let's do that in the rest of these chain spaces around and I'll meet you back at the beginning.
Here's our last petal. Single, half, half. Oh, double. <laughs> Treble. Double. Half. Half. Single. And to finish, you slip stitch into that space right here at the bottom of your first petal. Insert hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again for a slip stitch. And then what you'll do is cut your yarn and weave in your ends. Yarn over, pull all the way through, tighten that little knot. I really like the way this these turn out with the um, self-striping yarn because you just never know what you're gonna get. This one's super cute. Here are some other variations. This is from Lion Brand's Ice Cream Big Scoop yarn called Tutti Fruity. And yeah, so far we have a lot of blues and yellows, but I love this pink one with the little spotty yellow. Just super fun. You could make maybe um, like a little banner with them, maybe a little wall hanging. You can add them to beanies or just about anything. So if you enjoyed this pattern today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more crochet tips, tricks, and free patterns. Happy crocheting!